do that. But um, there are several things I want to say about the Mexico Center. Uh, in January of 2016, I had the pleasure of my dean asked me to represent the College of Education on uh, President Fenimus's, uh trip to Mexico, where he had mapped out a, a, an opportunity to meet with the five leading universities in Mexico. And, um, you know, I'm from Mexico. And so the idea of being part of this was exciting to me, but I had no idea until I got there. And I saw the vision that was being discussed and, um, and implemented. That I, I was really just overwhelmed with uh, excitement, and I became very interested in the uh, possibility of being part of this. And so, when Jenny offered me the opportunity to head to Mexico Center, uh, I, I seized upon it. It was clearly a vehicle to help uh, the university reach this goal. And uh, so it's very meaningful, very meaningful for me personally, uh, but also it's given me the opportunity to uh, be part of something that I think is really innovative. It, it's truly transforming this university. Uh, as represented in the fact that we've hired a senior flag and bomb to be vice provost for global engagement. And of course, it's not just uh, Mexico, it's, it, it is truly global. So uh, that's, that's very unique. And, uh, and I think that the way in which this is being carried out is, is very unique. So uh, that's delightful, that's interesting. And it's also important. Um, one of the, the signposts, excuse me, oh. <laughs> and I've got many years of rock and roll, I should know. <laughs> so, um, one of the signposts of this transformation is an award that I'm going to announce tonight for the first time the Mexico Center Award, which uh, is doing something very innovative very out-of-the-box thinking, and that is, it's an award that goes to the 10 best Mexico-related op-ed pieces that have been published in this last year. Uh, Adriana Pacheco, who's the president of, of the uh, uh, President's uh, Board of Advisors, for uh, International Board of Advisors, and her husband, Fernando Macias, have uh, made this possible, and it's really sort of their concept. But the aim of it is very clear. It's to help reinforce the message that UT is the leader in thinking about Mexico, in research about Mexico, in scholarship about Mexico, and in collaboration with Mexico. It's really fantastic. And so, I'm going to, uh, some of these people may, may even be here tonight, I, I'm not sure, I, I, uh, and um, they have not even been notified, so, um, so don't run and text them before we get the email to them, I don't mind as long, I'm sure. But uh, Gloria Gonzalez Lopez from Sociology published an op-ed titled, uh, What the Me Too Movement Could Do for Victims of Incest, and that came out in this magazine in January. Stephanie Lauter from the Strauss Center for International Security and Law published an op-ed titled, Trump Has It Backward, Many Migrants for Victims of Crime. That was published in the New York Times in September. Carmen Valdez, Steve Hicks School of Social Work and Dell Medical School uh, published an op-ed titled, Belonging and Identity for the Children of Immigrants. That was in The Hill which, as you know, is a very influential platform. Carlos Torres Bergin from the Cochrane School of Engineering, his op-ed piece is, Texas and Mexico have a perfect opportunity, published in the Dallas Morning News and the Houston Chronicle. And finally, Stephen Waddick from the UT Law School for his piece titled, Our Increasingly Unenforceable Constitution, published in the New York Times. Really, 